Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Let's do this. today's ride um, if you're watching last week you'll know that uh, I'm just getting over some sort of coldy fluey thing I'm not hundred percent recovered but uh, I want to salvage some fitness I really do have to start getting back onto the bike so that's what today's all about and with that in mind I'm just going to do a fairly easy route today out around the uh, little villages and hamlets at the bottom of uh, Ports Downhill and around Southwark, a total of about 25 kilometers. And to give you some idea of how easy I'm gonna take it today, back in the summer when I was relatively fit, I did this exact same route in just under an hour. And we'll see how long it takes me today. I'm not gonna to go too hard. I want to keep my heart rate below 80% and to help me do that I'm just going to ride in the small cog on the front and keep my cadence around 90 so it should be relatively easy. The illness that I'm just getting over was a sort of fluey, chesty, throaty kind of thing. And normally I wouldn't really want to get back onto the bike until I was fully 100% recovered from that. But uh, I've got some stuff coming up that I need to be bike fit for. So the sooner I do it, the sooner I can start getting fit again. When you do get on the bike and you're not completely recovered from any illness or injury you do run the risk of, of just going back on yourself and just getting ill again but uh, I think I have to take that risk today why I got ill in the first place was because on my last ride I pushed it way too hard. I rode down to South Sea and back which is about uh, 40 kilometers and for most of that ride my heart rate was above 80% and sometimes edging into 90%. So today I'm just going to take it much much easier. As you can imagine, this time of year the weather's not too warm. Today it's about four degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, it's nice and sunny. It rained overnight, so the roads are a bit damp, but at least the wind isn't going to be too strong today. The route I've chosen isn't exactly pan flat. I live near the South Downs and Ports Downhill, so it's never going to be too flat, but the hills that are here aren't going to be too challenging. A kilometre or so, three or four percent, just enough to get the legs working.
well that's one of the two main climbs out of the way today We've got one more which is bunkers hill in about four kilometers time again nothing too difficult um yeah just to get the legs moving really with it being a bit cooler today i thought i'd wrap up a bit uh, and in fact this is the first time this season that i've worn the full winter kit so on my bottom half i've got a pair of thermal bib tights on top of that i've got a pair of regular shorts and then on my top half i've got a short sleeve jersey underneath a long sleeve jersey and um yeah it's it's keeping me warm enough i'm still perhaps not quite as warm as i would like to be but that might have something to do with the gloves i'm wearing which are just a basic pair of uh proper gloves that i got from halfords which is um like a very sort of a chain retailer for bikes and car parts um, and I also don't have any uh, overshoes on my feet but it's not quite that cold yet but uh, I'm, I'm okay I could probably do with being just a little bit warmer though on my chest That's the second of the two climbs done today and I don't mind admitting that I'm finding it a little bit difficult getting into my rhythm. Uh, I'm looking at my cadence and it's kind of all over the place. I just need to kind of relax a bit, not worry too much about how fast I'm cycling, how fast I'm pedaling and just get into a rhythm, any rhythm, even if it's not 90 revs per minute. it's cold one of the things that I absolutely love about riding at this time of year is when you ride past some cottages and they've got a wood burner or an open fire and you can smell that lovely wood smell so there we go that's today's ride done and dusted uh, about 26 kilometers by the time I get back home uh, and it's taken me about an hour and 25 minutes to do it and like I say I did that back in the summer in an hour so 25 minutes longer um, yeah I wasn't trying to gum it or anything I wasn't out for any PRs just to get my backside back on the bike and I've done that so that's me pleased <laughs> <laughs> 